that there are um, some economists who are working really hard at trying to remedy some of the inequities in terms of medication pricing and distribution. Um, for people who accept that, at least for now, for people who accept that the capitalist system is not going to go away anytime soon and try to work within it, even there, there are, way, there are solutions. Um, the health improvement program is one of them. Um, there are researchers at Yale who said that instead of allowing corporations to maintain a um, exclusive patent on every medication for an average of uh, over 20 years, what we should do is um, reward corporations who devise medications that address important problems. And we should judge how much they're paid based on how many lives are saved or how many cases of disease are, are, are gotten rid of. And that should be a global assessment. Right now, the health of people, wealthy people in the Western world is what drives healthcare agendas. Everyone wants to make drugs and treat these people because these people can pay a lot of money in return. That's why the developing world gets ignored. They simply can't afford expensive care. But under this, this kind of proposal, every life would be equally important. If you save the lives of a million people with malaria in the global south, the company would be rewarded the same as if they had saved the lives of a million Americans who are wealthy. And that's a much more equitable plan. You know, those kind of plans are being devised, and they deserve our attention.